In this video, we'll set up our development environment to start writing Angular applications. Like I mentioned before, when you're working on something like Angular or any of the major JavaScript platforms these days, you cannot just throw in a JavaScript file into an HTML and run it. There is an installation procedure that you're gonna have to go through. It might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but I'm gonna walk you through this, it's very simple. There are three things that you're gonna to have to install to get started. First is Node.js. Node.js is the runtime environment uh, in which you're gonna be running all your development tools. There are a bunch of utilities and tools that let you run and develop your Angular applications and all those are written in JavaScript, so they need to be run using Node.js. So first thing you do is head over to nodejs.org and then here you will have a download, an installer for your operating system. So here you see there are two options. One is a long-term support version, the other is a current version. Either of these should do. Download and install the installer that you're gonna get over here. And then you're gonna have Node.js installed on your machine. And you can verify that Node.js is installed by opening the command prompt and typing in node-v. This runs the node program that you've installed, and the dash V is an option which prints out the version of node. And uh, here you see the version is 9.3.0, so I have the latest version, but you don't really need the latest version. Something around this version should do. And again, like I said, the long-term support version is fine too. Uh, the other thing you can do is run npm dash V, and uh, this is gonna print the version of npm, which is kind of like the package manager for node. It lets you download the packages that you need in the Node ecosystem. More about that later. But with this, if you install the downloaded installer and then type this command and then you see the version, then Node is installed on your machine. All right, let's move on to the next thing that you need to install. The next thing to install is the IDE, or the editor, in which we're gonna be editing our source code. Uh, the IDE that I'm gonna be using is Visual Studio Code. You get this at code.visualstudio. Com. You can run this or you can choose another ID. It really doesn't matter. I prefer this, uh, but uh, my recommendation is choose an ID that lets you open multiple files at a time so that you're not switching between multiple windows, right? So you, in an ID like this, you can open a folder and you open all the files in that folder and you can switch between them very easily. Some of the other options are uh, Sublime Text, you have Atom, you have Brackets, there are a whole lot of IDs out there for uh, JavaScript development. Pick whatever strikes your fancy. I particularly like Visual Studio Code because we're gonna be writing code in TypeScript and Visual Studio Code has pretty good support for TypeScript. So if you're um, not sure, well, just choose Visual Studio Code and follow along. Uh, this is again an installer. If you go to the code.visualstudio.com, you're gonna get a download for your operating system. Just download it, run it, just like any other installer for your OS, and you're gonna have Visual Studio Code installed on your machine. The third thing that we're gonna install is the Angular CLI. Now, what is Angular CLI? Well, it's a way in which you can start up a simple Angular project uh, without having to assemble all the files and start everything yourself. A typical Angular project consists of a bunch of things that you're gonna have to do, right? It's not just one file to kickstart a project. You have to have multiple files that you have to have in place before you start writing code. So rather than creating all that boilerplate code yourself, you can use a utility like Angular CLI, which kind of kickstarts your development process by creating a bare bones project and making it ready for you. If you can examine what that project looks like, that bare bones project, but first let's install this command line utility. This is available at cli.angular.io, but you don't have to go here. As the web page says, there is a command you can run to install Angular CLI on your machine, and that is using npm. Remember, we ran npm over here and printed out the version. You can use npm to install node packages. The way to install any node package is to run npm install and then the name of the package. In this case, the package that we're gonna be installing is Angular CLI. So you say at angular slash CLI. So this is the name of the package. The name of the package is split into two names really. So the first one is indicative of the fact that it's an Angular package. And the second part is the CLI. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but just type this command 
npm install and angular slash cli. But wait, if you just install this, if you just run this command, it is going to install angular cli in the directory that you are in, whatever directory you happen to be in when you run this command. But what I want to do is install this globally so that I can run the angular cli in any directory. In order to do this, I'd use the option dash g. Now this is going to install angular cli globally. All right. So I hit enter and uh, npm is going to fetch the angular cli binaries from the npm repository and it is going to download and install angular cli globally and by the fact that we're doing it globally it means i can go to any directory in my command line and type the angular cli commands and it should be available for me to use all right so this seems to be done and uh, here you see the version of angular cli that's installed it's 1.6.1 this could be different depending on when you're watching the video. But to make sure that Angular CLI is installed globally, I can run the command and print out the version again, just like I did with Node and NPM. The command for Angular CLI is ng. And then I use the dash v option again to print out the version. And it is going to give me this nice ASCII art. And it's going to tell me that the Angular CLI that's installed is 1.6.1. Now with this, we are all installed, we're all set to start writing Angular applications, and we're gonna do just that in the next video.